Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to do an unboxing of the ultimate portable game player, Sega Mega Drive. And for the American watchers, Genesis. Yeah. Okay, so we're having many different Sega players nowadays from China, but also these Ed Games look alike, or so far I know. It was not released by Ed Games, but this was the anniversary 25th edition. We had a lot of different Sega portable devices. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the playlist because I have a lot of them. But as you can see, it comes in this very nice collectible box. A little shout out to my buddy Sante because he sent it out here to me for review. 80 built-in games and the question remains do we have 80 actual 16-bit games or going how are we going to get a lot of shitty games so there's only one thing to do and that is doing a little bit of an unboxing together with you okay let's open it up and let's take a close look what we're going to get inside so the product is used but that will not spoil the fun it comes with this manual and i must say even it's very thin paper for the pages there's not a lot of information just the basic information of, of course, the games that were in it. Pretty cool, in my opinion, because nowadays booklets are very rare. So, but already thrown away, this was this piece of plastic that was on top of the system, but of course it's used, so but it's still cool that it's over there. I'm going to take a close look later with the handheld itself. Seems to be I'm getting this USB or the mini USB connection cable because we don't need to charge it. All right, so there is an internal battery, but let's take a close look at the handheld itself. So the color is the giveaway because with this color you know this is the latest or the last released version. I did a review of all some weird versions, even some prototypes, but at the end this is the latest version and I'm hoping this is a very good version. At the left we're having the menu, this is the start and pause. It comes with a d-pad and this thing feels quite nice. Sick button that is very common with the last versions. I'm very happy that they're doing this because we're going to need it with some cigar games. We're having this very tiny speaker, a little LED for indication if the device itself is on, as you can see over here. At the top we're having the CF carpet because we can add games, volume control, the USB mini what I already told you for charging. This is not for data transfer, AV out, and here we have another LED. All right, so at the back we're finding the little compartment for the battery. Okay, I needed to open it up to show you what are we going to get inside. This is the MP62. If you, so far I understand, two or three hours of playtime, not a lot. It's a very tiny battery, but I don't know if you can buy a bigger one on AliExpress, for example. Okay, so let's power it on. And it is Edge Games, yeah. All right, so let's take a close look at the menu. The first thing I did notice with this handheld, and this is one of the few that have a very decent LCD inside, as you can see. So let's go a little bit of scrolling through the list. So the first list is very promising. And as you can see, we're having quite a lot of good games. So far, so good. Even having Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 on this device, so that is pretty cool. There is no Sonic 3 on this device. Sadly, I'm understanding that due of copyright, that is not possible. But what you can see with list number five, do I say that correctly? Yep, the shit storm of crappy games are coming. Zoomer looks, by the way, pretty cool about. This is just horrible rip of games. So this is something that I think is a little bit of a bummer. All right, so let's try some games. Let's try Banaza Bros. Now let's see how the emulation is with this device because I'm very curious. The previous, let's say, Ed Games handheld, but not the best. And even for a mono speaker, it's quite loud. Hmm. So if you look at it, the video emulation, it's quite good, but. I don't like the audio, well, even not with this game, let's put it this way. Alright, so let's try another game, Alternate Beast. I can dream this soundtrack, I've played it so much. How do you boot up the game? Already press start once. Start up. No, I can hear that the sound is not good. Oh! Oh! That is really bad. This is so sad, man. Why? Why did you mess it up? Because the, in general, the emulation is not bad. 
He's good. Right, so let's try a game that I didn't play much. Is the game Eswat. I'm gonna say the games are pretty awesome on this device. And no, there are not 80 of them. But I'm talking about, of course, the 60 bit games. Fresh surprise in seeing this game Comic Zone. I especially fond, have fond memories of this game. Since we guys, if you look at back at today, the Comic Zone was the last released game for the Mega Drive. Whoa, but this is not good. Oh. See, that is something I find also so disappointing. That they're thinking, why do you release a system like this? You have a good display, the D-pad itself plays very nice. Freaking awful. Hear that soundtrack? Oh, my ears. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Over here. So, oh, for signal. Oh, yeah. So, we have shit games on the big screen. Let's see if it sounds pretty awful like the previous time. Second I'll put a shit like always because yeah it's analog out. It's running really slow now. Man, I couldn't even dock. Where are my buttons? Whatever oh, they are. Oh man, if my buddy knew Gunlock hears this soundtrack on oh, the set I think he's going to scream and run away! Oh my god, this is horrible. And regarding the other games, I think it's not even mention, worth mentioning, and, or better said, it's not even worth testing these things out because, man, look at this. Oh, really horrible, shitty game. So, it's just awful. And if you're going to load up a game and play, you need to rewrite it every time. I think it's pretty cool that you can still add the games, and you can, of course, play the hacked games, the homebrew. That is pretty cool. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this is really bad. Watch out if you can live with the soundtracks. You can play it like this. But yeah. Can I recommend this device? No, not really. If you want to have this for your collection just for fun, I can to totally understand that you want to have this. But at the end, if you just want to play and enjoy some retro Sega games on the go, this is not the way to go to. Not at all. The controls itself, the D-pad, I really need to get used to it, but at the end it plays quite nice. There are six buttons so you can play all Sega games. There's a battery life for a couple of hours, so that is not bad at all. The TV out is just like I already expected, it's just basic AV out. The display is not bad though, I think this is the best display I have seen in all those ad games or lookalike systems. The emulation, if you're looking at the FPS, it's not bad at all, but it is more like the audio is pretty horrible. And I think that is, for me, the reason why I even don't want to keep this in the collection. But nevertheless, I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, I have a lot of reviews coming up. And it would be great to have you in the Wicked family, so hit the bell and I will see you in the next video.